if it is a valid token it will grant access to that particular secure page at step 8 hello friends welcome to itk funday your own channel where we make it interesting for everyone and in this video we will cover one of the most requested topics from you guys which is sso or what we call as single sign on guys suppose you are attending a big fat uh, indian wedding of a multi billionaire and there is a very tight security at the gates you were asked to show your personal identification at the entrance and then once you entered into the wedding uh, venue then in the you know in the area where all the food items and the drinks were being served at every counter you were asked to show your uh, uh, identity and the wedding invitation card don't you think it is uh, you know it is inconvenient for you to go through this process again and again it is irritating as well as it will not let you have the actual fun of enjoying the food and the wedding so what if right at the entrance if the security personnel ask you to showcase your identity and the invitation right at the entrance and then gives you a token which you can uh, tie in your wrist okay or um, a stamp of sorts which validates that yes your identity has been proven and now you can go in and enjoy your food and uh, enjoy the wedding so this is primarily is uh, called single sign-on wherein your identity is authenticated and authorized right at the entrance of an architecture uh, and then you go about doing the job which you uh, were intended to do okay so now we will take a use case a very simple use case of understanding how single sign-on works using saml authentication saml stands for security markup assertion language which is an open standard to exchange identities between an identity provider and a service provider so in in the case in our real uh, life example case uh, your identity provider maybe could be the could be the government of india which issued you that particular identity and your service provider was uh, you know the wedding venue okay so when these two are exchanged then you uh, go about doing your job so let's understand this architecture and understand how uh, sso exactly works so friends now let's understand this workflow of end-to-end -end single sign-on authentication using windows active directory before we go on to understand every step first understand that there are three parties involved in it the number one is the principal or the actual user who's initiating a request the request is actually meant to go to a service provider which would be serving that particular specific request but before serving that particular request this service provider needs to know whether this is a legi legitimate user or not for which we will be going and contacting the idp which is identity provider so this whole workflow you can see various arrows going in so just understand that wherever you see the black arrow this is the authentication workflow and wherever you see the red arrow this is the token workflow when the token has been assigned okay so we'll start with step one at step one, uh, the user opens up a browser and types, uh, you know, types the URL of that particular service provider. So suppose we are trying to open a home page of uh, a web application. So what will happen? This particular browser will then at step two redirect it to the source, which is this particular service provider, or you can say the web app server. Now at step three, this particular web app server will redirect this particular request, okay, to the Active Directory server because uh, this particular server wants to know whether this is a legitimate request coming from a legitimate user or not. So it will generate a SAML authentication uh, request and it will pass it on to the, the Active Directory server. Now, uh, once this SAML authentication request is generated, it could go to a Windows Active Directory within the network or suppose we are using Azure Cloud, then it could go to Azure AD uh, service. So it depends. So for now, I have taken Windows Active Directory as an example. So at step four, uh, this particular Active Directory will validate this particular request and all these requests will go in XML format. So SAML authentication will generate an XML uh, request and this particular request will be, uh, uh, you know, analyze this uh, with this particular Active Directory uh, server uh, to identify whether it is a legitimate user or not. Once at step four, the user is authenticated a SAML token will be generated for this particular request at step five, which will be done through the identity provider. This uh, SAML uh, token 
uh, will have different uh, attributes and information about that particular user okay and then this particular token information in xml file xml response will go back to this particular browser from where the request was made once the request reaches this particular browser this particular browser will redirect this particular token back to the service provider to say that hey i got this particular token now you can check it it's kind of my identity card go validate it i am a i am a genuine user so this particular uh, web server once it receives this particular token will validate uh, you know this particular saml response and if it is a valid uh, response uh, and uh, it, it if it is a valid token it will grant access to that particular secure page at step 8 okay so once this particular token again it is a saml response so we made a saml request we got a saml response okay so now once we got the saml response and we got the legitimate token this particular web app server would say hey uh, you are a genuine user now go and enjoy your buffet in the wedding okay so this particular uh, user will be authenticated and then whichever page or service uh, this particular user has requested for would be served back to this particular browser and once this particular token is assigned there will be a validity of this particular token for suppose an entire session of a certain time window or maybe some other parameter and during that time window once this is authenticated this user need not to authenticate it again and again and again till the time this token which has come is valid okay so this is single sign on seamless access now there is a second step to it which is silent single sign on so it is sometimes also called as silent single sign on now silent single sign on means that you don't have to necessarily pass the password manually type it so in this at no place you are typing uh, the manual passwords right so this is also called as uh, SSSO triple SO so this is silent single sign on as well so I hope you like this video if you did please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you exactly know when I upload uh, my next video uh, comment section is always open for your uh, comments, feedbacks, improvement areas for me to improve. So until next time guys, please keep learning, keep sharing all your knowledge and yes, keep hustling. Bye for now.